So you want to learn how to make drinks in Art Pimelum Press. Well, you came to the right place. Today we're going to be talking about how to make these drinks step by step. So let's get right into the video. We're going to be making the top drinks for our Pimelum and Arc. And I will list them right here on this side of the screen somewhere. So first off, let's start with wheat beer. So with for wheat beer, we're going to need to get some wheat. We have to remember that this wheat has to be fresh wheat. It cannot be the dry wheat. If you get dry wheat, it won't work. So once you get your dry wheat, cook up some mutton. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know for sure. But to cook up mutton is very simple. All you need is a jar of water. We put it in here and then you get some dry barley, you put it in here, you cook it, and then eventually it will turn into some cup, cup of mutton. So let's take our cup of mutton and let's put it in here. You put it in here, uh, let me get a fresh jar of water. All my jars of water are empty. Put it in here, get your jar of water, put your jar of water in there. Eventually, you will um, get a cup of beer. I already done this, so I'm gonna take my cup of beer. But that's how we do it. We'll check back on that item later, and as far as I can prove to you guys that it works. The next item is wine. So for wine, you will need to get some grapes. You put it in your fruit presser, and you will be able to make grape juice. Once you have your grape juice, then you just grab your grape juice, you walk towards your other barrel, whatever one that you're using, and you just throw your grape juice in there. And eventually, your grape juice will turn into uh, wine. But you have to make sure that you do have cane sugar in here. If you guys don't know how to make king sugar, it's very simple. All you will need to do, you need to come back to your fruit pressure, get some fresh sugar plant. You fresh sugar plant to craft some fresh sugar juice. You get a bucket of that. You grab that bucket. Then you just toss it in here in this industrial cooker. And you let that cook away and it should make you some king sugar there we go so there go our king sugar let me turn this off all right for our next item we're going to be making some coffee so for that all oh, i have my coffee seeds so for that you just need it's very simple all you need to make coffee is an industrial cooker fresh coffee fruit you throw it in your industrial cooker um you do not have to wait for your coffee to be dry you can't you can't get dry coffee, so it has to be fresh coffee. And you just put it in your industrial cooker, you wait a couple of minutes, and boom, there go your coffee. And then for tea, you will need to get fresh tea, and then you put it in your smoke cooker, and then it will eventually turn into dry tea bags. And once it turns into dry tea bags, you put it in your industrial cooker, just as the same as the coffee, and you will get your tea. So that's how you make your tea, your wine, your beer, and your coffee. So we went over those four things. So then the last things are, oh, one one again, are your juices. So you, you can also make to, to, um, tomato juice, but to make tomato juice, all you need is tomato and salt. And you just put it in your fruit presser, and boom, you go to make it. For the other juices, you just it's very simple all you need is some king sugar and some berries so you get whatever juice you're trying to make you get all those berries and then you put them in here you get your canned sugar you put that in here too and then you just make it and boom they take a very long time to make as you can see it's taking pretty long but that's how you can do it and it does take a lot of berries to make it you would think that it would only take one berry or maybe 10 berries, but each of them take 60 or more berries. So that's odd. But that's it. Um, that's how you make all your um, juices in this game. 
Let's let's check on our beer, see if it made it. Nope, it didn't make it yet. The beer does take a while to make. The wine should only take about five minutes. So it should eventually be made. So let's just wait here until it's it's made. Alright, there go our wine. As you can see, it finally crafted some wine. Wine does take a long time to spoil. It takes about five hours. And if you put it in your smoke cooker and our genie we get some um, some spark powder. Let's put it in here. There we go. Yeah, it takes now it takes two to three days to spoil before it spoils. And our beer, oh, there go our beer. Okay, our beer is also finally done. It only made one. You, they don't disappear and turn into the wheat beer jug that you see here, but they just take the water out of the jug. So for as many water jugs we have in here, that's how as many beers, wheat beers, you're going to be able to make if we have enough wheat for that and mutton for that. But yeah, so that's it. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and I'll catch you guys in the next video.